guys welcome back to another episode of rthd and in this episode i want to review an omax microscope that i got a year back and i didn't get a chance to review so stay tuned <music> So we're back and this is the OMAX 40X to 2500X microscope that's available on Amazon and uh, it's actually connected here. This, this, is, this cord is just basically to power it on. But yeah, I'm going to do a very quick review of the things that I have learned from it. So I actually bought this microscope because I wanted to be able to see, you know, what cellular organisms and so forth was available in water and so forth. I was just very curious. and. Be having a background in science, I decided to go ahead with it. So um, <laughs> I decided to buy it because it was advertised as 40x, meaning 40 times. You could actually magnify 40 times up to 2,500 times. But guys, I want to tell you up front, this doesn't do a good job at magnifying at 2,500x. And I'll get to that explanation in a little bit while. But uh, basically, um, there's a few things I want to show you guys about the, 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 micro, the microscope. And uh, let's start with the eyepieces now. What you may not be aware of is that the eyepieces actually have magnification. So the default uh, pieces here is not the only place that the only lenses that have mag magnification. In fact, um, there's different mag magnification powers, as you could see here. So the smallest one, for example, uh, I hope that you can see it's where my finger is. The smallest one here is actually four times. Now, that means it could view four times, right? Four X, right? Um, four times the magnification. And then the other one is actually 10. So when you flip it around, you get 10. And then the next one I have here is 40. So 40 X, 40 times. And then the other one is 100 X, which is 100 times. Now you say, well, then how come they're saying or claiming that it could do 2,500 X? I mean, if you could magnify that, you should be able to see blood and so forth. Um, so yeah, so you may be wondering how you could do that. Now bear with me. Sorry about this camp the camera settings. I have to actually bend to do this thing. But um, I, I can still describe it like this. Now, uh, what happens is that <laughs> it uses the magnification of these lenses plus, as I said, the eyepieces actually have magnification. So this particular set came with 10x lenses. So you pretty much use 10x, which is 10x, 10 magnification, multiply, but whatever this factor is here as well too. So for example, if we were at the lowest one, which was 4, which was 4 down here, 4x multiplied by 10 would give you 40x. Same thing with 10. 10 by 10 would give you 100x. Um, 40 by 40 by 10, 400x. And 100 by 10 is 1,000x, which is which is fine, right? Now you say, well, then how do you get 2,500? Now the eyepieces, they're actually interchangeable eyepieces. So you can actually take these pieces out and you can replace them with 25x uh, eyepieces, which they also provide. Now, the good thing about this um, is that I was able to actually use this with glasses or without glasses so it actually has corrective uh some some corrective support where you just turn these values on the side here this these things here as you can see not this piece here. this piece here turns the value and it actually changes the focus so if you have vision issues this will actually act like your glasses for you so you can actually take off your glasses if you want but i like the glasses on because i don't like to keep taking off the glasses look at something and put back on the glasses and so forth so if you are if you have spectacles because many you know many scientists tend to have spectacles and so forth they use their eyes a lot to do uh, reading and so forth and we don't know how the the lighting affects our eyes and so forth um yes this is not going to be a problem um but the challenge is is that <laughs> when you magnify um when you mag when you have to magnify something to the point that it reaches 2500x you have to have so much light that this does not provide in fact this does provide a, a fair amount of light i was able to i was able to see things at 40x up to i believe it was a thousand x it started to get dark at a thousand x and that's because when you when you switch this thing on and i'm switching it on there you get some light and uh that that you, you could use that light to actually um you, you need that light to push forward. So the light actually moves from the bottom of the microscope straight up through to the lens piece that you see here. So uh, the slides, the light goes through the slide up to the lens and that's how you're able to see. But when you magnify something, as with the same thing with telescopes and so forth, um, the more you magnify something, the more light you need. Now this came with an actual, uh, I don't know why it's not lighting up the day. It should have been, um, but this came with a, a magnifying uh, 
light. Oh yeah, you can see it's actually light now. Watch, watch, watch carefully there. You see it light now. So you could adjust, you can adjust the light on this side here with this, with this lever, and that's how you get plenty light coming through. And when you look through, it works, right? Um, and, and that works fine. As I said, 400x no problem. 500x no problem. Um, but when it goes up to like the thousand factor and higher, it gets really, really dark. Even though you try to use this LED light, and I perhaps replacing the LED light with something brighter may help. But don't expect 2500x to be able to see at 2500x. It's, it's purely a gimmick. Um, unfortunately, I bought it and thinking that it, it was possible, but it, it just doesn't seem so. With that being said, it's not a perfectly failed microscope. It is an excellent microscope that will give you 400x, 500x very easily, and that will be able to see things like leaves. Um, I have tested it on, uh, I think I tested it on blood, but it was, it, was, it, it was not as big as I thought it was. And why I really, really bought this is it's called a trinocular microscope, meaning one nocular, two nocular means two eyes. And I think they call it 3D, right? Because you can see with two eyes, it means it's 3D. But it also comes with this little piece here as well too. And this piece is an actual camera. Now, this one that I particularly bought, I think I paid about 300, um, 300 US dollars, a little bit more than that. And it, it, right now, the, the, it goes for 319 US dollars. I bought this because it actually came with uh, a five megapixel camera. It doesn't actually write five megapixel, but it's a five megapixel camera. And uh, it, it, is, it, is, it, is, it uses a normal, uh, not micro, uh, mini USB cable. So you have to have a mini USB cable. It, thinks it came with the mini USB cable as well. And you plug that in and you're able to see. The problem is this. And you notice that it has this really weird twist tie here and you may be wondering what that was for. Okay, so when you put this camera into here, Basically, it allows the camera to see what's being displayed the same way the eyes are being able to see. But the problem is you don't actually see the exact thing. And that was very unfortunate as well. That was very disappointing about this, about this microscope as well with this camera. When you look through the lens, I was able to see very clearly with the lens uh, when, you're looking, when looking through the actual the binocular part. But when projecting this to the laptop, I noticed that it was out of focus. And I was wondering, why is this thing out of focus? Is something wrong with it? Well. It seems that way. It seems that this Omax camera was not particularly designed for this at the point in time. So I had to actually devise a way of lifting this camera up a, li a little bit. And so I came up with this by twist tying it. I was able to actually keep this a little bit like that. Notice the little difference here in space. I had to use this to keep that. And by moving it upward a little bit, then I was able to get focus onto the laptop screen, the, the, the laptop that I use. And that's the next thing about the review, and, and, and so this is a, you know, a full-fledged review, and unfortunately I can't show you everything because it'll take forever to edit everything, but I, I'm just letting you know what happened. So that was one of the issues that I had with this Omax microscope. The next issue with this camera in particular is that, I mean, it's a 5 megapixel camera. In, 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 our, in, in, in our days, that's not really a big deal, right? Because we have phones that handle you know, 20 megapixels at a time, and that's not a problem. Well, for some reason, the, the microscope technology is very, very... Uh, old and very very archaic and even this um, 5 megapixel camera if you were to buy it separately it would probably cost you about 60 US dollars just for this 5 me megapixel camera you see what 5 60 US dollars is not a big deal well I'll let, I want to let you know that for this to actually view something at 1080p or even less it actually records at 7.2 frames a second that's the fastest it could record now you may wonder well, what that what that is now thank god I know a little bit about cameras and maybe you know a little bit about cameras as well too 7.2 frames a second is terrible quality it, it doesn't move like what you're seeing what not right now you're watching this video in 30 frames a second and things look a bit smooth at seven frames a second it actually moves like really really jerky so when you have to look at a, at, at these organisms and they're moving really really fast this camera sometimes misses it completely because it moves so fast. Remember, those organisms, those minute organisms, they move fast. They move like from here to here to here to here to here, really, really fast. And so that this camera doesn't do a very good job at that. And uh, coupled with the fact that the lighting is an issue when you are magnifying up to 1000x, this camera is really, really dark and grainy. And um, it's so unfortunate, as I said, because I, I actually spent a little bit more buying the 5 megapixel camera as opposed to the 2 megapixel camera, and hoping that I'll be able to take shots and hoping I'll be able to show you guys some interesting organisms and so forth. Unfortunately, that didn't work out. Um, is it an absolute fail? I'd say probably not. Um, the microscope itself actually works, as I said, fairly okay. Um, in order to micro, in, in order to, to 
to be able to utilize this to see at a thousand x or higher you probably need to get the special oil um, that they use to do that so yeah that's just some of the starting elements of it now another thing i want to talk about uh very quickly as well so i know this video is getting pretty long but i want to talk about um <laughs> this the nice parts of the actual microscope now everybody knows that you move up and down you know you'll get um, the magnification because you have to actually find this sweet spot for you to be able to see um whatever you have on the slide now this is able to move in two ways you can move full fledged movements as you can see here you see how fast it's moving and then you can make minute adjustments using this other knob on the side here so this one does a slower job and this is for the fine tuning so that you can actually get uh, the image in focus on the binoculars itself um, I thought that was really nice I think it's probably standard in most of them but you know just in case I thought that was really really cool it has two gears to do that it also has on the side here you see left and right this is up and down left right so you move the slides using these options up and down and that's pretty much what a microscope is to be honest with you a microscope is just really a telescope um that's overpriced even telescopes are probably overpriced i don't think the glass is worth that but this is pro probably much it. the only thing that really is electronic is the camera and the light and <laughs> that's pretty much what you pay 300 us for and in that in terms of trinidad money that's nearly two thousand dollars without bringing it in which costs another thousand dollars so i paid three thousand dollars for this thing um, to come in is it worth it maybe if you really really need it um it is it doesn't come with any slides you have to buy your own slides you have to buy your own uh dyes and so forth now that's the next thing um you don't just take you could take dirty water out and you'll probably see organized or um, organisms but many organisms are actually clear and what i learned is that you actually have to have certain dyes um, where you throw the dye into the into the liquid or whatever and then you look at it and then you will see the organisms and so forth So it's just something to think about in the meantime. It's a good investment um, A fairly decent investment for students who um, are learning biology and so forth um, It's very durable. Um, as you can see, it's really cast iron. It's actually eight pounds um, So it's quite heavy. You can see I'm struggling to actually lift it up It's actually quite heavy, which is good because you don't want to you don't want a, a microscope camera to actually move um, in any sort of strange uh, direction, uh, sorry, while you're actually moving because then it can slide off and fall and so forth. Um, is there anything I need to talk about again? Oh, you can actually adjust the, 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 the width between the two noculars in case your, your head big, so to speak, right? Uh, or your head is small or so forth. And they actually, um, they do actually have like rulers, like ruler grades here that shows you 0 to 10 cm, 20 cm, 30 cm. 40, 50, 60 cm and so forth and then there's also even fine tuning here as well too. Um, with that being said, it's very durable. I don't see any um, any defects per se when I bought it and it's and, and it's been over a year and it's working pretty fine. Um, just of course be careful but if you scratch your lenses and so forth that could be quite costly and um, yeah guys so that's it. This is the Omax 40 to 2500 magnification uh, microscope that's out on Amazon. Um, if you want it, as I said, don't depend too much on the video. You may be able to get some still shots, but even with the still shots, remember that these organisms move so fast that even the still shots could become a little bit blurry. But other than that, pretty good microscope. Fair end of the deal because remember, these microscopes, this is actually one of the cheaper microscopes. They're very, very expensive microscopes out there. So good starter microscope uh, with all those issues that I had. Um, and with that being said guys, thank you so much for viewing. Please consider subscribing if you want to know anything more about the microscope If you want to see some sample videos and so forth, I would love to do that in another video um, And with that being said, I'll uh, see you guys again soon on another episode of RTHD coming to you soon. Bye <music>